Hello and happy Culture Day. Culture Day, a national holiday here in Japan. National holiday, so why am I working making this video? Oh, because I love you. And because we have so many of these darn sightings to get through, better keep slogging. We're going to do them all. I'm Kyle for Hibagon. Japanese Bigfoot, the book, and this is the, the video supplement. Well, thank you donors. Our Team Hibigon P900 camera came today. It's a beauty. Camera girl and I took it outside and played with it a bit. There is a lot to learn. Camera clerk, camera coach, where are you? This might be... If I can learn how to use this thing and find the right place to point it from, this might be our best chance to get a close-up look at those lines and uh, peek in through those trees. Those, I mean, of course, those radial lines in our solar calendar. Well, now, three rivers flow out of Mount Heba. Here's Mount Heba here, all of this, this area here. And three rivers flow out of it. The Rokonohara River here. You should remember that name. It comes out high up the mountain, just below the Tate Boshi Cone. And then it flows north and turns down or back around south and then east. It goes over the Rokonohara Dam where it runs into the Saijo River. The Kumano River here, which comes out just below the Ikenodan, right by our Tate Boshi Cone, and flows southeast, and it too joins up with the Saijo River a little lower down. And the Hiwa River here, that starts beneath our monumental solar calendar, draining west from here and then south toward Miyoshi. Okay, here are those names, if you'd like to put them in your notes. And why not? Here are all of our favorite features, super conveniently labeled for you. Now, so far, most of our sightings have been pretty close to the Rokonohara River and this side of the Yuki Loop. Well, today's takes place along the Kumano River. Rivers, remember, have been a constant factor in Hibagon history since the very beginning. You remember Lord Mori had to change the name of this river. He called it the Enko River, after the Enko. Hairy, beastly beasts with long arms that watch and wait. This, of course, is the old name for the Hibagon here in Hiroshima Prefecture. And he named the river Enko River to mark the danger posed by the Enko and set a border between his human subjects and their uh, monsterish, uh, grabby, rapey neighbors. Well... Here, too, rivers. November 20th, 1970. This witness does not give his or her initials, probably because he or she was a high school teacher and initials would have been too easy to make identification. So, initials withheld. Age 49. The high school teacher saw the Hibagon walking along the Kumano River it doesn't say whether it was in the river or on the road alongside the river. Um, doesn't say anything more, really. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not exactly a barn burner. Uh, the teacher did notice a large amount of corn destroyed nearby. And the witness wondered if the Hibagon hadn't made its roost in the corn. That's the second time we've had corn destroyed. 
We've also seen beaten down grass and trampled trees. All right, that's our 11th sighting. As I say, it's a little lean, but they can't all be beauties. We are counting down the days until our Mount Heba trip. There's so much to do. Your game clerk and I are looking at images along the trail up the mountain. And we are finding some eyebrow-raising features. Eyebrow-raising and also hair-raising. Possible ambush or lookout points that... Uh, we should probably probably be aware of. And we are finding stick structures. Obvious stick structures that match stick structures found in North America and even in Australia. I sent your game clerk a photo of a structure that I found earlier this year in the spring and he found basically the identical structure in a video taken in Australia. I have emailed the Aussies who found it and hopefully we can have a little a little international Hebegon Yawi stick structure symposium. That would be great. Hey, if anyone here has experience with Sasquatch stick structures, come on, get get yourself on in here. We need a stick structure clerk who understands these things. Anyway, good evidence that these creatures are still here, still doing very well. Thank you very much. That is both comforting and, <laughs> yes, discomforting. Okay, our used camera is missing a couple of parts missing a lens cap which would be useful and a charging adapter I think we need that so I have to go look for those I think I know where I might be able to scrounge them up all right see you soon bye bye